I first met my husband, Harry Brown, at the Chester Beatty Library in Dublin. And it's a very, very interesting and beautiful library. And uh, about a year after we were uh, going out, he said to me, I thought when I was going out with a poet, there'd be a lot of poems about our relationship, and there weren't any at that stage. So I thought I'd write this poem about our meeting, and I would put into it all of the sort of beautiful things that were in the library, and also the uh, idea of that kind of tentative first meeting with somebody when you're not really sure how things are going to go. So this is Meeting at the Chester Beatty. We have only just met downstairs at the Chester Beatty Library. We have not touched each other yet. Upstairs, Doris, Adam and Eve are contemplating each other and the apple. The serpent is already waiting. Upstairs are jars older than Grecian urns where lover strains towards lover, fragments assembled so the hero yearns towards a clear plastic mould. A stopgap in scuffed images, whole stories cannot be told. We have not yet become curators of ourselves, guiding each other through halls of memory, reading the small notes by the shelves. You have still time to discover there are whole sequences lost from mine, here or there, a missing line or lover. Upstairs is story within silken story. Silkworms who shot threads like tiny roads were miniature cartographers of glory for emperors who mapped their own silk roots to carry gleaming bolts of gossamer in colours of dreamed forbidden fruits. And we have not yet set up paths to each other carrying bolts of brightness we have only just met. Upstairs are fabulous creatures with horns in cantampres on the nature of things, monsters with benign faces, unicorns. Upstairs, Isabella's marriage contract has no seal, though holes gape where a ribbon might thread through. Louis loved another and thought better of a deal that would have sealed up a century of war, blood ribboning between England and Flanders. Love pounded louder than a battle's roar. Everywhere there is love and contract, upstairs in the Chester Beatty Library, for we have not made contact. Downstairs, only our eyes have met beneath the weight of silks and histories. We have not touched each other yet. <laughs>